What's up guys? This is Good Days Ahead. My name is James. Uh, today's a good day. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Aeris Backpack by Boundary Supply. So if you take a look at this, the first thing you might notice is that it has some stuff attached to it. Um, that's what's great about this pack, is it's not just a normal sort of travel backpack. It has the ability to add and take away different components and kind of design and cater your travel experience to what you need exactly. Um, for myself, I love if I'm going to be traveling or going somewhere to have a smaller backpack or pack that I can take with me um, aside from my main sort of travel luggage. Um, and what's great about this is it kind of has some different options for what you want to do depending on what you need it for. So I figured we could just dive in, kind of take a look at, at uh, you know, the pack itself and these accessories and um, you know, give you a couple details and, and my sort of thoughts about it. And uh, yeah, just kind of go from there. So first thing is, I think this is about a 35 liter pack itself here. Um, this is the olive green color. It, uh, it's made from this 400D nylon material. Um, it's a little crinkly kind of here. It's kind of crinkly, but it's not too bad and it's designed this way to be very weatherproof, water resistant, you know, just very durable. Um, it has taped seams on the inside, which really helps with the sort of waterproofing aspect of it, water resistant aspect of it. And um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it, it just a very sort of nice design. It's kind of a modern sort of minimal design here um, with some good pockets some good access to the inside from different areas. and. Um, yeah, so anyway, why don't I go ahead and take some of this stuff off. So first thing here, this is called the Stasis Sling. And what's great about this is that it clips on here to the pack using what they call this 360 latch system. So here it is. You'll find on the pack itself, on this Stasis Sling, um, it's got these really great magnetic Fidlock latches. It just clips on, clips off, clips on. Very satisfying for all you fiddlers out there. So the main compartment of this opens up and slips down. And right now, I just have my Patagonia down jacket, my glasses case, and my GoPro 360 and handle. So there's a pretty generous amount of space in here, um, but it's really just to kind of give you a small pack if you're, say you bring this uh, camping or something and you want to leave this in the car but have a smaller pack to take with you on a hike, this is perfect. Um, it has just enough space for some snacks, some water, a uh, light jacket, a camera, whatever you feel like you might need. So there's really just that main compartment here and on the back here, you Open this up, there's a, another sort of flat compartment, and this would actually be perfect for having a bladder for your water, um, you know, maybe a, an iPad, something small, very small laptop, something like that. I don't think it would fit a 13 inch, but it would probably fit a, a uh, 11 inch laptop or iPad. And then again, this nice little extra pocket here. Um, not a lot going on with this pack. It's just very kind of small, kind of minimal, lightweight. Um, and again, that what you'll find through the, the main pack and these accessories is this kind of uh, very similar material. You know, this is what they call a, a stretch mesh material. Um, I forget what the inside is, but yeah, it's all very durable. You know, it's all just very like kind of nice and, and rugged. Um, so what you do here is, as you can see, there's no strap, but if I just pull this out of the top here, this opens up. And then you have two latch points, depending on what shoulder you want to carry it on. So if I were to latch that through there, 
then I now have a little sling pack that is pretty comfortable. It's a uh, pretty lightweight, you know, it's very, very, uh, sort of sits there kind of probably my head gets cut off here, but you know, just like a little, just a little something. And it's great because you don't have to take your whole pack out with you and you don't have to take a separate backpack if you know you're just going to be going out for a little walk and you want to carry a couple things with you. So this is super cool. Um, I'm figuring that I'm, I'm going to be having a lot of different uses for this. And, um, you know, so far I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. I haven't, I haven't taken all this stuff out yet. So maybe once I, uh, have a little bit more use behind it, um, I might do a second review or something like that. But yeah, so this just sort of tucks back in behind this little padded uh, panel in the back and you're good to go. And then here you have one kind of hidden zipper compartment, really great for your wallet, um, passport, anything that you might not want to, you know, lose or, um, get taken off of you if you're traveling and you're know, in an area where you're kind of afraid that someone might kind of pick your stuff off of you, that would be a good spot for that. Um, and then, yeah, so on the edges, you have these latches that hook up to this 360 latch system. So you have, you know, top, bottom, both sides, um, whether it's you're clipping the bag to it or the straps, it comes with a couple of these straps, latch straps that you can, you know, compress the bag, have put it around, use this pocket as a um, tripod holder or anything like that. So you can kind of strap stuff to it. So it's really cool. So that's the Stasis sling. Next thing on this bag that's really cool is the Rift Pack. And this one, these latches I've kind of just left here, um, but this one just clips off using your sort of basic buckles, plastic buckles. And this comes off like this. So. This is sort of, as you can imagine, more of just a bit of a fanny pack type of bag here. Um, and I'll just show you here. If you pull this back up, you now have this strap here together with just a regular plastic buckle. And it turns into sort of your standard fanny pack. So what you could do with this, you know, just give it a little, little tug. Um, you have two compartments. Main compartment here. In here right now I'm just kind of put some random stuff. GoPro. A uh, little GoPro gimbal. And an extra camera lens. So it's nice. It's just like the ease of reaching into this. If you're a photographer or you're just out uh, traveling uh, in a city, something like that, and you want to just have your camera on you, this is perfect for that. This is the, the photo insert is what this is. So what this allows you to do is have a sort of platform with a Velcro system on the inside. And you have, like I just showed you that little pouch, as well as a couple of these little Velcro dividers. You've seen these in uh, any sort of camera case. So it basically just sort of, if you know you want to use this for your camera, this is a good thing to have. Um, it kind of adds some rigidity to the bag itself as well. It kind of lines the whole bag. And actually just take this out for you. So this is what that is. It's just like a sort of frame, if you will, that goes in to this. Without this, it's a lot more just floppy. It's just sort of a bag. And honestly, you probably, if you're not gonna carry a camera, this would be perfect for just having snacks, having, put your phone in here, your wallet, and just kind of an easier, if you don't wanna take the, you know, have a sling on your back, you could have a thing around your belt. So, around your waist. So yeah, it's a it's a great little, you know, great little bag. It has a little compartment here, same sort of stretch mesh material, which is nice. Um, and then on the top, one more compartment. Got a little bar in here. It's pretty small, just some easy to easy access. So rift pack, pretty sweet. Okay, so here's the bag without any accessories attached to it. Um, I have the latch straps here from the Rift Pack that was on top, but here's the bag. I kind of just loaded it up with a couple random things that I might take with me if I were to be traveling, and um, it all fits really well. You know, it's not too big. It's uh, it's a you know good size. It has plenty of pockets, plenty of organization, um, and yeah. So we can kind of just start from the outside and work our way in. On the front here, 
nice big sort of front pocket for if you didn't have any of those sort of auxiliary bags attached. This would be perfect for just stuffing a down jacket or a long sleeve t-shirt, something like that. It goes, you know, here's my fingers here, so it's fairly deep, nice, just big pocket. And there's no other zippered pockets in there. It's just, that's what it is. So that's pretty nice. That'll come in handy. Of course, on any bag, you have to have a nice top, easy to reach pocket. So this is the top of the bag. And here I have probably one of my favorite things about all of this is the Boundary Supply Tech Case. Um, this thing is awesome. I'll, I'll walk through this here in a minute. But in here, this is just a nice big old space. I mean, this thing is, you could probably fit the ripped hack in here. It's, it's pretty big. And then on the top of this bag, or this uh, pocket here, it's just another sort of stretch mesh pocket with a key holder. I have my magnetic fitlock uh, key sort of latch here. And yeah, so just kind of a good place to keep something that you uh, need to have on you and don't want to misplace. So then what you do here is, so why don't we do this? This is super cool. This is a system that they designed in order to give you um, the best fit possible depending on your height and your size. So a lot of like sort of backpacking packs use um, either straps or different uh, you know elements of Velcro to sort of uh, raise and lower the preload weight, preload of the like where the straps are positioned. This one's great because it's super easy. Lift that up, slide it down, or this whole thing moves with just lifting up the Velcro on this back pad, which is really, really nice. And it makes a big difference depending on, again, how tall you are and how much you're carrying, all that sort of thing. Um, the straps here are really nice. You know, this is like one of the first things I noticed, honestly, was how just sort of beefy, beefy and robust these straps are. Um, very comfortable, perfect sort of like contoured shape. You know, as you can see, they kind of like come down and in. Um, super nice. And then on the strap, you have a sternum strap here, which is again similar to the sling, this Fidlock magnetic latch. And if you're not using it, this stores up on itself right there. So that's pretty cool. Another useful part of these back straps is this sort of preload strap on the top. Um, this can make a big difference depending on what you're carrying, how much you're carrying, and how close you want the top of the bag to kind of be centered on your back. Um, so these just sort of, depending on where the strap is, these can kind of position the strap, or the top of the strap, lower or higher or closer to the bag. Um, again, depending on uh, what just what's comfortable. So just a lot of sort of um, stuff to work with here to make it as comfortable as possible. Again, you have a waist strap here. This is actually removable, which is nice. So if you're not using it, uh, it doesn't need to be flapping around all in your way. But this is just a standard plastic buckle, um, adjustable. And they do make a what they call an adventure waist belt. And it's similar to this, but it has some pockets, kind of like a uh, you know backpacking pack would. Uh, so you can put your snacks or keys or whatever. And it also, instead of having plastic buckle, uses this magnetic fit lock, which again, I can't stress enough how satisfying this is to use. Super nice. On the side of the pack is a big water bottle holder slash anything that's water bottle shaped or cylindrical. Um, you can use this pocket to hold a tripod if you have a small travel tripod that you wanna put in here. And then, as I mentioned, use some of these latch straps you can connect from these different points to come around so if the tripod comes up you can kind of strap it down and secure it which is really nice so this is a nice pocket um, for that the other side doesn't have a pocket but it does have a zipper which I can go into more into detail to access the inside of the backpack the main compartment so if you want to keep your camera in here if you're not using any of the accessories keep your camera in the pack safe out of the weather, you know, whatever. This is nice because you can just access it really quickly and easily. 
Alright, last thing I want to take a look at on the outside are all of these dang handles. This is super nice that they added this because depending on where your backpack is on the ground in your car, um, upside down somewhere, rolling away, this is really nice to have a handle on every side. So they have two on one on either side, a nice big one on the top, and then even on the bottom. So you think if you put this into the overhead compartment on an airplane and you put it backwards, you know, you can grab it here and pull it out or vice versa. And just side note, this is a TSA approved size to put on an airplane, which is really nice. With the accessories, I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. I'm sure if I stuffed it enough, I'd probably get it there. But anyway, um, really great. I mean, the outside, they did a really good job. It's simple, not too much going on, not too many pockets. Because again, with these accessories, with the you know the tech pouch, if you have um, a lot of small stuff that you need electronic wise, this is great to just stick in the top. You don't have to think about it. And then you have everything you need in one place. And while I'm taking a look at this, I've shown you the other accessories. This thing is super cool. Um, I've had a few different tech pouches before, but nothing quite like this. So basically what it is, is the same material, that 400D nylon material. Um, another side note is all of these zippers on here are really nice YKK weather guard, weather safe, water resistant zippers. Super solid, easy enough to open, but still pretty like rigid, you know, very, uh, very solid construction of these zippers. So, Basically, in this tech pouch, you have two compartments, one on the front and the back, and then a small little pocket on the very back. And here, I put my little battery, charger, Lion Energy, solar pack thingy. On the inside, it's lined with, uh, similar to a lot of these packs, this nice nye wool uh, material. It's kind of soft, pretty, uh, pretty, still kind of rigid, not too fuzzy, or anything like that, but... I kept this in here because what's great is there's also a pass-through little hole. I can't really see it, but a hole in here that allows you to run a cable from this thing to the inside of this back pouch, this back uh, compartment. So I'll open this first. Double zippers, by the way. It's nice you can position it wherever. And they, uh, these don't lock, but a lot of these do lock, which is nice. So you open this up. And what you have here are multiple compartments and this stretch mesh material in sort of an accordion type of style here um, to place stuff. So I don't have this thing like packed out, but I have a little hard drive in one of these compartments. Um, and then yeah, same, you know, you could put your your phone, wallet, iPad, or uh, uh, AirPods, something like that in, in any of these and kind of keep it like organized, separate. It's really nice. On this side, right here, is a zippable zipper compartment that opens up and I have just like a little dongle extender thing for my MacBook. Um, these two pockets here, for something small, I have my little SD card uh, to lightning conversion so I can just upload photos on my phone. And then up here, they did the very generous gift of these tiny little slots that are perfect for SD cards. Super cool. I've never seen that before. Really nice to be able to just separate your SD cards in a compartment that zips closed so if they do fall out, which doesn't feel like they will, but they're safe. So that is a super cool design that they added those. Coming around to the other side here, all it is really is just sort of these kind of like loops, pen holders. I put some pens really small like six inch dongle type connectors here and that's it so really nice this is just one side of the compartment really nice all your sort of like anything that's not a cable because the other side is where it gets really nice so close this up open the other compartment now this was a great idea how about that this nice sort of cross hatched stretchy elastic bands that hold lots of cables. It is so satisfying. Um, I have these great, these Supercella, uh, like magnetic, sort of like cool fiddly cables here. But um, as you can see, I have six different cables in here and there's plenty of, of more, uh, you know, parts that I can stick cables into or whatever, you know? So it's basically just like a 
kind of like a woven elastic stretchy band um, design that allows you to just put it's designed for cables essentially up here you have a couple of little pockets um, a couple things in there I got my little two like iPhone brick guys in there for the USB charging um, and that's it so again to close this up there's so much stuff that can fit in here yet when it's closed up it's super compact you know size my hand it's really not too big little handle on the top here if you wanted to just drop it down to something or just carry it by that really cool great job on this design going back to this I'm gonna open this up what you have here again these really nice YKK weather guard zippers and this basically just opens up kind of like a clamshell so if I open this all the way down it looks like this So, so this side is what we noticed first. This is their new field space um, case. This thing's really cool. Uh, it's great for having a couple accessories, carrying an iPad. I think is kind of what they intended for this. Um, if you open this here, this top pouch. Um, side note: This is connected by these cool again. Fidlock is a company that makes these all these magnetic connector deals and it's they're awesome so this has this little docking thing you just stick that on there somewhere I can find it again somewhere I can find it there and then there's a little elastic strap that goes on the bottom to secure it so this is sort of a dedicated space for this so what you have are um, a little place for pens I, again I, I really think they went for the iPad here I imagine this is probably designed for the iPad Magic Pen. Um, another little like pen slot there. Two nice sort of stretch mesh compartments here. If I just have my laptop charger, um, maybe put like a mouse in there. And then in this top one, there's another little compartment here, which could be kind of looks like the size of like a credit card. I don't know if that's what they intended, but maybe if you're going out to the cafe and you don't want to bring your whole wallet, just a credit card, this would be a good place to put that. So. With that in mind, say you are going to Starbucks and you want to type stuff or work on whatever you're doing, um, this is perfect because you can put your iPad in here. Same, or I guess maybe a, you probably fit a 13 inch MacBook in there, I would say. It seems like about the right size. But again, this sort of um, nywool, nice soft, but sort of rigid um, material on the inside, nice and like scratch resistant. And then this just closes with magnets. A lot of magnets on this. I like it. And then on the back here, not nywool, but sort of a uh, nylon material on the inside. That would be good if you had a manila folder or some papers or something like that. Stick that in there. And yeah, you're good to go. You, know, you can carry it. You just have your, just bring this to the Starbucks and you have everything you need just to spend a day doing whatever you're doing. So that's pretty cool. On the back side of this work connects to is a full-on um, laptop compartment. So in here, this is my 15-inch MacBook. It fits in there perfectly. I am looking at getting a 16-inch MacBook, and I'm hoping it ha actually fits in here. Um, but it, it seems like it, it should. So then this little latch system up there just sort of keeps it nice and tight. Another thing to notice is that the bottom of my laptop Pens right here. And look at this stuff. Too much stuff. The bottom of this ends right here. So if you were to drop your backpack with your laptop in this compartment, it's not going to hit the ground, which is a really good call on their part. Um, so yeah, that's that's the one side. On this side is sort of the main compartment here. Let me take this laptop out so it's not so heavy. So what they did over here was couple little compartments. This is again that stretch mesh material that's really nice. Um, it really is pretty stretchy but like you can tell it's very durable. Um, there's two compartments. One smaller in here is put like a little belt and then in this one I put like a bunch of socks. Right. So you can breathe. Nice little you know kind of easy place to put some of those things. On this 
it seems like what you want to do is just zip these down as it opens up like this. But what I decided was to use some zippers that are really easy to pull. And if you just pull this little tab here, it just opens up. Pretty sweet. So in here is the main compartment. Um, it comes with this sort of like waterproof bag. Uh, in here, I just put some an extra pair of shoes and it rolls up a little top bag and it clips together. So a pair of shoes, the, all the bags come with this um, this shoe or you know dry bag sort of thing. So dirty clothes, anything that might smell, you know, whatever is kind of contained in here, which is pretty nice. So then in here, I just have a packing cube filled with some shirts and clothing and um, that fits in here really nicely, but as you can see, this is sort of it. You know, there's not really much to this sort of main compartment here. Um, it does have these little latch, sort of elastic latch strap things um, that are designed to work with the, the dry bag. You know, these They have these little pins that just kind of clip in here, so just kind of secure it and keep it steady. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of pack this up a little again so you can kind of see how it looks. But yeah, you know, if you're going out for just a couple days, even up to a week, and you're not packing too heavily, you know, you just need like an extra pair of shoes, you know, five shirts, a couple, you know, sets of clothing for a few days. Um, it all fits really well. So yeah, this is perfect for just those sort of week-long, even weekend-long trips, and um, it all just fits really nicely. It's all compact, and, you know, having a place to put your computer or your iPad in your luggage like this is just so nice, and it's all just so organized, and, um, yeah, I just feel like they did a really good job with all this, so go check them out, Boundary Supply, um, you know, if this one isn't quite what you need, they have a bunch of backpacks, they're, like, really pushing the... Uh, you know, the limit on bags and just come out with really great designs and, um, you know, everything from the bag itself to, again, all these, like, really great accessories. Um, you know, you can buy all these separately, so basically if you order the pack, it'll kind of ask you if you want to add a lot of this stuff to it. So, um, yeah, just kind of get what you need and, and figure out what works. And, um, yeah, I hope this was helpful and hope to see you guys again soon. Peace.